Hi all. I would like to welcome you all in this journey where we'll be exploring the concepts related to the LWC. Now, in case if you are wondering what is this LWC, why there is a kind of a buzz in the market where everyone is asking for a LWC developer, why is it not sufficient being an or a component or a lightning component developer? Do I need to really learn an LWC component? In this section, we'll be exploring these pointers. In addition to that, we'll also do a quick comparison of the Aura and the LWC. Without any delay, let's get started. In case if you are wondering what is this LWC is all about, it is nothing but Lightning Web Component. So LWC is a shorter version for it. If you ask me what is the job of this LWC, what exactly it is meant for, the LWC component allows the developers to build sophisticated custom user interface. In case if you are wondering, can I not do the same thing using my Visual Force page and Aura? The answer is definitely yes. You can go ahead and build the sophisticated custom user interfaces using their Visual Force page and the Aura component as well. Now, why is it so special in terms of we moving to an LWC component? What are the advantages that it has? What are the drawbacks that we have in the Aura are something that we'll be discussing shortly. Now, how is this LWC different from this Visual Force page and Aura? If you look at the timeline of when the Visual Force page started, it started way before our Aura component. And the Visual Force page has its drawbacks in terms of the performance. And that is where we have an Aura framework that has been introduced by Salesforce, which overcome those disadvantages of the Visual Force page. Now, if the Aura component has overcome the disadvantages of the Visual Force page, why is this a new concept that has been introduced with the name LWC? For that, let's understand what is Aura made of and then we'll compare what exactly LWC has to offer so that we have a better understanding in terms of the changes. If you look at this diagram, so we have the orange box which is calling out the web standards and we have this greenish box which talks about the framework. Now, in order for the Salesforce to come up with the Aura component, it has came up with the framework that is built on top of the web standards that we have. So these are the web standards that are being provided at that time and top of that in order for us to build the sophisticated custom user interfaces the salesforce has to come up with the framework which supports the same the most of the things that we have the data service the ui components the component model the templates the rendering optimization the modules and the language extensions so these are all the part of the framework that has come up with the or a component what exactly is this framework is all about this Aura Component Framework is a dedicated Salesforce UI framework for developing a single page response to applications for mobile and desktops. Now, what is the problem with this Aura? Why is it not kind of having the buzz that it has when we have started off with this Aura Component? There are a few disadvantages with our Aura Component. One being the components which are built using our Aura Framework had compatibility issues with the browsers like Internet Explorer. The second thing is, any developer who is aware of the JavaScript cannot directly jump in and start writing an Aura component. It needs an understanding of the framework that is being provided by the Salesforce and they need to get trained in terms of using our Aura component. Again, this Aura component does not follow the modern W3C standards. One more drawback is the rendering was not optimized for the continuous UI transformations when it comes to Aura. So these are the few pain points that we have in the Aura component. And in case if you are familiar and working with Aura component, you cannot have multiple controllers on your Aura component. You have to have one controller and that controller can have multiple classes that can be invoked in the methods that you can expose as an Aura enabled. So those are the few disadvantages that we have with the Aura component. Now let's understand 
what is this LWC all about and how is it having the edge over this aura component. So let's quickly pull up the comparison in terms of what is changing in our LWC component and we'll understand with the help of the same diagram that we have on the screen. Now if you see here most of the things that are there in your framework are moved to your web standards. Over the period of time when the aura was when the aura was introduced there were multiple competing models and in the absence of standards salesforce has to extend aura to create a lightning framework fast forward to today there is an increase in the demand for the developers to create and build new applications faster thus salesforce has introduced the modern javascript based development model with the lightning web component so Whatever that used to handle you in your framework was part of web standards now. Now what that made simple is any developer who has the basic understanding of the JavaScript can start writing their code. So whatever that is there in the framework got moved into your web standards. On top of that, this LWC component as a framework is providing the specialized services the data services and the UI components that we can leverage while building our components for our requirements. So because of this change, there is a lots of improvement in the performance because everything is coming from the standards, not the framework that is doing the heavy lifting in here. You would see a definitely change in the performance of your component when compared to your LWC and Aura. Now, if you look at the timeline, we have as controllers that was introduced in the year 2006 later we have an enhancement to that which is coming as visual force page in the year 2008 then we have the lightning component which was introduced around the year 2015 and we have this lwc component which was introduced to us in the year 2019 because of the enhancements that are happening there are major changes in the standards and hence to align with the latest standards, Salesforce has provided this LWC component to leverage something that is there in the standards and built on top of that, which would enhance the experience for the end user. Now, does that mean that we have to completely dump our Aura components and move everything to our LWC component? Is Salesforce, is Salesforce making a huge announcement in terms of how the Aura component has been used? The answer is, we do not have to worry at this point of time. There is an option that has been provided to us where the LWC component can coexist with our Aura component and we'll see those details as a part of our coming sections. For now, in case if you're worried about what do I need to do with my Aura component, you can still use your Aura component and that would serve your purpose. Going forward, you can leverage the power of LWC component build any new component using your LWC and see if there is an option for you to convert your Aura to your LWC or you can use the concept of LWC and the Aura component being coexistent in a component and we'll see how to leverage that in our coming sections. So, now so far we have talked about the disadvantages of Aura and we have talked about what are the pain points that we have in Aura and we have also understood the changes that are happening and why Salesforce has to come up with an LFC component. Now is the high time where we need to understand what is the advantage that I get once I move to my LWC component. Or what are the advantages that I get once I move to the LWC component. The first and foremost is since most of the things are handled in your web standards, you would be seeing the enhanced performance compared to your or a component. So the reason for that is lightning component will run on the browser without any complex abstractions, thus providing the better performance to the end user. Most standards, let's proprietary. Since the lightning component is built on the standard current standards, which is exposed to the developers with the modern advanced advanced javascript features it is like lwc component is using the existing standards rather than coming with 
something that is built from scratch browser compatibility so this lwc component is compatible with all the browsers supported by salesforce which is a major advantage that we get when we move to lwc component communication between the components is much more simplified and enhanced in our lwc component compared to our aura component you will realize this point when we actually start using the communication between the two components where you would understand how much of a code has been reduced when we have to do the same thing in our aura compared with your lwc in our aura when i first explored this point in lwc compared with our aura i was pretty much amazed the number of codes of lines that got reduced with this approach of going with our lwc in your aura you have to register a event then write a handler in terms of listening to that even that is coming from your child component you do not have to do all those things by creating a new event and then using it it's all about dispatching an event when it comes to our lwc component you would be amazed when you see that section for time being let's have that suspense and continue to learn the advantages that we have and as promised we'll be exploring those concepts in our coming sections one more advantage that we have in the lwc is you can go ahead and write a component without your ui in your lwc component and you will be understanding why we would be doing it so that we can use that in the quick actions whenever there is a no user interaction that is needed you can go ahead with that approach easy to learn it not just for the salesforce developers anybody who has a basic understanding of javascript can easily understand the changes that are there and they would be able to contribute to the development of it it is extensible any javascript library built on web standards can be easily integrated with lwc which is a huge bonus in case if you want to have a javascript embedded into your lwc working so that way you can provide a better experience to the end user in terms of using that custom ui so that brings us to the end of the section where we have explored the advantages of your lwc in the next section we'll be seeing what are the things that are needed in terms of we starting with our lwc component i'm so excited to meet you on the other side where we'll be starting our journey in terms of understanding lwc and putting that into practice i'll see you on the other side